We've all heard the term door, not door as in open door, but door as in D-A-W, which I prefer to say for that reason. It stands for Digital Audio Workstation, if you didn't already know. I said it before and I'll say it again. A door is a software application that you run on your computer. Its primary purpose is to allow you to record, edit, mix, playback and render multi-track audio and MIDI data. Doors are used for producing and recording music, songs, speech, audiobooks, television and movie soundtracks, podcasts, in fact, any other situations where recording and editing of audio is needed. Doors have a long history dating back to the late 80s. Some of us probably fondly remember Steinberg Cubase on our Ataris or Apple Macs. When DigiDesign introduced Pro Tools in 1991, it quickly became an industry standard in most commercial recording studios, replacing the old tape-based workflow. These days we have a fantastic selection of extremely powerful doors available to us, which puts the early software to shame. Some of the most popular choices today are Cubase, Ableton Live, Bitwig Studio, FL Studio, Logic Pro, Reaper, Reason, Pro Tools and Studio One, to name but a few. Audacity is sometimes also mentioned, but this is not a full-blown DAW as it focuses mainly on audio with quite limited MIDI and plug-in functionality. Another common use for doors is to host VST instruments and effects plugins that you can play from a controller keyboard and record to build up your compositions. To get the most out of your door, most people will use a good quality USB audio interface for high quality recording and playback. All doors have the same core functionality. You can record and edit audio or MIDI over multiple tracks. There will be a standard set of transport controls derived from the tape recorders of yesteryear with, for example, play, record, rewind and so on. Each track has its own set of controls for adjusting the levels, effect sends, pans and so on. And this, of course, takes inspiration from the analog studio mixing desk. Another common feature is the ability to record and edit automation curves for adjusting various parameters over the playback of a track, such as volume or the cutoff control of a synthesizer. MIDI can be entered and edited in the event list or the piano roll editor, or in some cases even as musical notation. Audio can be treated using inbuilt effects or third party VST effects plugins. Life moves pretty fast. Most DAWs allow manipulation of audio samples, such as time stretching or pitch shifting, referred to as warping. Modern doors also provide compatibility with video files for composers who are writing scores for video productions. DAWs today are extremely powerful with many features and with that comes complexity. There is usually quite a steep learning curve and once a user becomes familiar with a particular door, they may be reluctant to switch. 
For myself, I like to use Ableton Live for creating my musical compositions and ideas. For serious audio and MIDI recording and editing, I always use Reaper, which I'm using right now. For fun, experimentation, I like to use Reason with its unique rack containing dozens of inspiring virtual effects and instruments.